some amazing stuff to watch. Look no farther than Chop Block TV. Chop Block TV. Chop Block TV. That's the name of the channel. C-H-O-P space B-L-O-C-K space TV. Available on Roku and your Amazon Fire devices. Fire Stick, Fire TV, what have you. Dr. Dread Reviews, 2019. Pet Cemetery, take one. Hey! Welcome back to this week's Dr. Dread Reviews. The show that's so short, you can't get bored watching it, right? Am I wrong? <laughs> Anyhow. Uh, this week I'm going to give a quick review, quick review, no longer than 10 minutes. 2019 Pet Cemetery. Have you seen it? It's been out for a little bit. Uh, but we all know that this, we should, <laughs> all of us horror fans know, that this is a remake. A remake. Uh, remakes. Not normally a fan of remakes. I'd love to say that this film was the exception. It's not. I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, it had its moments. Uh, no, no moments that even came close to that, that gut-tearing scene in the original with the little boy out on the highway. I mean, that's tough to watch. That stuff is, t especially if you have kids. But, I digress. I'm not talking about that movie, and I'm not going to compare either movie to the, you know, massive book that King wrote because that thing was massive, and and you just can't compare his books to his movies because his movies are normally like, yeah, especially if you've read the book. Okay. Now there are, there are some exceptions, of course, but I'm talking about 2019. Jason Clark, John Lithgow, Pet Cemetery. Now, Jason Clark, he played the father, and uh, he's, you know, I think he's a really good actor. And if he were even just a little bit better looking, he would be like doing like major Hollywood stuff and not Stephen King remakes. And I'm talking about John Lithgow, who used to be the go-to guy for TV, uh, for, for movies, uh, back in, like, the, uh, 80s, 90s, and then he did some TV stuff, and now he's back, he's, he's approaching his retirement years, but he's good, John Lithgow is good, and if you don't believe me, watch Cliffhanger, Cliffhanger! Digressing again, okay, 2019 Pet Cemetery. I probably said that five or six times by now, and, uh, I watched it, and I tried to watch it with an open mind. And the filmmakers did an okay job. If I were unfamiliar with the first film, and if I was unfamiliar with the book, I probably would give this one three stars. But I am familiar with the first movie, and I am familiar with the book, and at best, I... Did I say stars? I meant skulls. Three skulls, but that's not what I give this one. No, okay. Uh, being familiar with the original movie and being quite aware that what the filmmakers did was intentionally change things 
so as to delete some of the iconic things in the first movie. And because of what I've read, and they deleted some things because of political correctness and they want to be social justice warriors, well, that doesn't sit well with me. You know, Art needs to be creative. It needs to break rules. It can't be bogged down by social restrictions according to whatever woke generation happens to be in charge at the time. Uh, it was a well put together film. It was. It, it, there was a beginning, a middle, and an end. Uh, there were some twisty turns that, uh, that were decent, and uh, the actors all did a average job. John Lithgow was awesome, but he is no. He is, he's no Herman Munster. He, he's no Fred Gwynn, no. And uh, Jason Clark was the standout actor in this film, and John Lithgow would have been his second. And some interesting things to know. The cat's name is Church, short for Winston Churchill. And he was played by five, no less than five cat actors. Meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. <sighs> little Gage. You know, cute little toddler running around. He was played by two different actors. A little bit of trivia for you in case you didn't know it. Uh, I, Dr. Dredd, would give this film. I'd give it a solid two. One, two. More like two skulls out of four. It means that I'd watch it again. You know, it's rainy out. Can't go out and dig in the yard. I'll watch a movie. Hey, I'll watch that one again. Okay, so I would give it two skulls, no more than two. And uh, I would recommend, yeah, sure, watch it. Give it a try. I'd like to hear your comparisons. But while, I, well, while I'm on the air here, ready? The Bloody Eye of the Makowitz. It's a Wislak. Zachary. Cardio. The one thing that uh, the remake of Pet Cemetery did do right is they had the song Pet Cemetery in it at the end while they were rolling credits. And even though they had a different band singing it, it still sounded okay and not near as good as the Ramones. So, Pet Cemetery 2019, Two Skulls. Dr. Dredd, I will see you next week on my show, Dr. Dredd Reviews. Check out my YouTube channel. And I'm on Instagram, and I'm on Twitter. So look for me. And remember, my friends, as always, keep it scary. Thank you.